Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you a quick overview of a music player app which we are going to develop in the entire series. Okay, so I'm going to start this. Initially, I have named this player as M player. So when I click on this, it will actually load entire songs available in my device and show in the list view. Here you can see this. I will show you how to fetch these all songs and show in this one so let me first uninstall i'm not going to uninstall this just long press on this app info let me just open this like this one app info inside this one we have given two permission that is microphone and storage so i'm going to disable this one and let me move back over here and i'm going to restart the app when i click on this here you can see this Allow M player to access photos, media and files on your system. So I'm going to show you how to actually ask for permission from the user in our app. So if I allow it, it will ask for another permission that is allow M player to record audio. I'm also going to allow this. I'm going to show each of these stuff in very detail. After that, I will show you how to design this card view inside this one. Here you can see this for every song. There is one view. Okay, and after that, finally, I'm going to show you how to perform a click listener on this list view item. If I click on this, this will open a new activity and that will be the player. When I click on this, this song will be start playing. So I'm going to click on this and here you can see this. I'm going to pause this. Here you can see this, this song start uh, playing started. Okay, here you can see this. We have few buttons that is play. And after we again play this, it will bounce that it will move back into the original position. Now we have this next button and the previous button. If I click on the next button, observe this, the name of the song, it will be changed. So when I click on, and this will rotate one time on the right side, click on this, change the song. And this is the visualizer. I'm going to show you how to add this visualizer. And we just pause this and here you can see this timer is also being updated when the song is moving or the song is playing the seek bar with the help of the seek bar we can also update the song like we can skip the song to a certain position like if I click on this one if I play this here you can see this at 115 it's being played now so with the help of this fast forward and fast backward we can subtract and add move forward this seek bar okay we can skip the song like when I click on this, now if I play this, you can see this, now the song is skipped to the 10 second and if I click on this one, it will skip back to the 10 seconds. Here you can see this, it's 21 from 31 to 21. So it's moved backward. Okay. When I click on this one, it will reverse in the previous reverse side, rotate in the reverse side and the song is changed. So this one is working fine. So I'm going to show you each of these stuff in very detail. So just subscribe, share and, and thanks for watching and please hit like, subscribe and share with your friends. Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In previous video, I've already shown you a quick overview of the music player which we are going to develop through these entire series. Okay, so if you have not watched that video, then just go to the description there I put the link from my previous video or you can simply do one thing, just click on the suggestion on the right side of your screen. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to design this one. It means that how to fetch the songs from our internal storage and show it over here. Here you can see this all the song which is in my phone is being shown over here and the design for this one how the text is moving if the name is larger than the display size and here you can see this if I rotate this this still will look nice and adapt according to the screen size. Okay so let's start this without wasting time so let me close this one. And I'm going to create a new project. So file and click on new, new project, select empty activity, click on next and you can name anything. I'm going to name this one M player video like this and click on finish. It's language is Java and I have selected the API 28, click on finish. This will create a new project within few seconds. De completely depends on your system configuration. And yeah, the Gradle build is running right now. 
we have to wait for a few seconds. Okay, so now it started. First thing what we have to do is, we have to ask for the user permission to allow or deny the local storage access. To ask the access from the user, we have to give the permission to the app. For that, just go to Android manifest file, double click on this and here we have to add a user permission. So in this, we have to write user permission, Android and the read, external storage this one we have to provide this and write dot permission dot read external storage to our app so that we can actually read the internal storage of the device on which the application is installed and fetch the songs and display that on the fields okay after this what we have to do is let me just save this and close this after this we have to actually add one more griddle in the griddle file build dot griddle inside this one we have to add one dependency that will actually customize pop-up whenever we install a new app there must be uh, something ask the user that allow or deny that type of interface we are going to implement so we don't need to develop that complete uh, pop-up so what we are going to do is we are going to use one dependency that dependency is Dexter let me just open this and here you can see this the link is here https dot colon double slash github dot com and it's Dexter what happens with the texture here you can see this it asks like this one and what actually helps texture is an android library that simplifies the process of requesting permission at the runtime so they're going to actually use this texture okay so we have to just copy this one and move back to our project and here we have to simply add this after this, just click on sync now. Now our syncing is done. After this, what we have to do is we have to move back over here in the Android activity and here we have to ask from the user for the permission. Okay, so make some space and I'm going to write a method for this public void runtime permission like this. And here I have to write texture. We have already added the dependency texture. And when I click on enter, and here you can see this, the library is imported automatically over here. Okay, so texture dot with context, and inside this one, pass this dot with permission, and inside this one, manifest dot permission dot read external storage dot with listener new permission listener when we write click on this the methods which we need is already over here okay so inside this one we have to actually call other methods so for now we just check that if this one is working fine or not and on, we have to call this method on on create so i'm going to call this runtime permission and let's start this and let's check if this one is working or not. Have it asked for permission or not? Okay, it will take few seconds to install at least. Okay, this time it directly open the app. So what we have to do is just move back over here. Just go inside this one that is resources and go to layout in the activity underscore main what we have to do is just remove these view first i don't need this text view just delete this and we have to add one list view inside this one and change this constraint layout to relative layout and just add one list view because we are going to show the song list okay so match parent and match parent after this, we have to set the divider and the divider will be at the rate Android and color transparent. After this, I have to set the padding of 9 dp and I have to set the ID for this one. This will be list underscore view, not list view. Okay. 
and divider height will be 10 dot sp like this now we have added this and move back over here and we have to actually initialize this one so i have to initialize this list view and list view like this i need one variable string array so that we can store the names okay song names so string and i'm going to name this one items like this and we have to register that list view over here so list view is equal to and we have to typecast this to list view find view by id r dot id dot list view like this one after this let's start this once again and let's check okay this is empty because we haven't added any stuff inside this one so let me close this move back over here okay oh sorry i have missed one stuff here i have to just type this i missed this method dot check that's why it's not showing the pop-up ask it's haven't asked the, for the permission so when i type check now here you can see this allow m player video to access photos media and files on your device if i deny this for now if i allow and deny nothing will happen because on permission granted nothing i have coded anything and on permission denied we haven't coded anything so i'm not going to do anything for now let me just close this okay after this now we have added the list view inside this one and let's start this once again and let me just show you one small stuff so allow this okay here you can see there's a color for this one is different but in our app which we are going to develop in this one the color code is different here you can see this so first i'm going to set the color for this one so for that just go to values go to colors and here we have to change these two color name okay so change this one to 006c ff and this one to 1e 6c d6 now restart the app and let's check i've restarted the app yeah and player video and here you can see this the color is now changed in the same way we have to also change the color for this one the background color for this one so so for this what i have to do is just move back over here and here we have to set the background background and here i have to set hash 1e 6c d6 this one okay after this what we have to do is just move back over here now we are given the permission now we have to actually create the we have to create one item view that will be the list view actually okay so here in this you can see this in this one for every song there is one view okay one view associated to particular song okay so we have to create this view so for that what i have to do is just move back over here in the layout and we have to create one new layout so right click new layout resource file and here we have to create list items click on ok a new item will be created over here to add the background we have to create one view for that so right click on this and say this one i'm going to set this list underscore background bg and this is not of type selected this is of type shape so select the shape and click on ok and here you can see this here we have to actually add few stuff that is shape is rectangular after this we have to add solid color will be hash 1e 6c d6 it's hash actually yeah this one and just close this after this we have stroke and this is the width for this one will be 2dp and color will be 
yellow for that i'm going to write the color code d6 b8 1 b here you can see this the border is of yellow color okay let me just close this now our list bg is ready so let me just close this one and move back over here to the list item and here we have to start coding so first thing what i have to do is i have to just go to the split remove this one change this one constraint layout to card view okay after this what you have to do is just i have to add few more properties inside this one that is margin end and here i have to set 8 dp and margin top 8 dp margin start 8 dp elevation i'm going to set some elevation for this one that also that will also be 8 dp like this after this i have to add one relative layout inside this one relative layout and the height and width will be match parent which will be match parent and this one is wrap content okay like this one we have to set some padding for the relative layout so i'm going to set some padding and i'm going to set this 8 dp and some background for this one for sure because we have already created the background that is drawable the drawable list vg here you can see this now this one is set and inside this relative layout we have we actually need two stuff that is one image view and one text in which we are going to show the name so i'm going to start with the image view this one and this will be of 45 dp and the height will be also 45 dp like this and id i'm going to set the id for this one so id will be song image layout margin start it will be true no not this one layout align parent start yeah this one will be true after this we have to change this, this property to align parent end not end top actually parent top change this one to true after this we have to set few more properties that is margin end this one will be 5 dp it's dp actually after this we have margin start and I have to set 5 dp after this we have to set the background for this one so background will be drawable list vg like this yeah this one is good and we have to set some actually image inside this one to add the image we have to add one vector asset inside this one so go to drawable right click on this click on this and select vector asset and here we have to just click on this one and search for music like this select this one click on ok and change the name to i see music or whatever you feel like just click on next oh not next this needs to be in the white color so i need it in white so select the white next and click on finish this will add a i see underscore music so i'm going to set the image inside this one so src will be drawable I see music hit enter and here you can see this now the image is set after this we have to add one text view okay so i'm going to add one text view inside this one so text view and this will be the wrap content which will be wrap content the height will be 45 db okay after this i'm going to set the id so id will be txt song after this align parent end true margin start margin start and we have to make this one 5 dp margin end 
this also be 5 dp after this to end of end of id and it will be it will be song image after this padding will be 6 dp text color i need to set the text color to white so hash 6 time f okay after this we have to set the text style so i'm going to set the text style to bold and i'm going to set some text for now to see how actually it look so song name okay this one is looking nice after this i have to set the text size i'm going to set this one to 18 dp now this one is looking really nice after this i need only single line so i'm going to set the single line to true so that if the name is long then still it needs to be in the single line okay after this mark you repeat limit mark you forever and ellipsize set this one to mark you and scroll horizontal true like this now our design is also ready the list view is also ready now finally what we have to do is just close everything and we have to just keep this one open that is main activity here first thing what we have to do is we have to actually find the songs then search it then load it inside this one and find load these songs inside this activity underscore main inside this one with the and with the actually this list item view okay so first move back over here and first what we have to do is we have to find the songs so make some space over here and we have to write public array list and so this one we have to pass the file this is a file type actually this will the return we have to just click alt enter so that the library dependency for this one will be added on the top here you can see this for the file yeah we have added this let me just minimize this move back over here and public array list file this method will return this type of data that will be the of array list and the generic type will be file okay i'm going to name this one find song and this will accept one file type stuff file type argument okay I'm going to name this one file like this and inside this one we have created an array list array list of type file okay new array list file i'm going to name this one files is equal to file dot list files after this we have to write a for loop okay i have to write this one single file colon files and we have to check that if the file which we are going to fetch is in directory is not hidden single file dot is directory and not single file is hidden then we have to add this to array list array list dot add all inside this one we have to call the method that is find song and single file like this in the else condition what we have to do is we have to check that if single file dot get name dot end with dot mp3 that will be the file which we, our app will support and another thing we have to check for single file dot get name dot ends with and we have to write dot 
W A V. You have to check for only these two. And if this satisfies, then dot add, and we have to add this one. Okay. And finally, we have to return this error list. We will return this error list. Okay. So now the find song task is done. Now this method is ready. We are going to actually use this method in the another method. Okay. That will be the display song. So in this one, I'm going to write a method that will that is actually public void display. This method is not going to return anything. Display song. And then this one, we are going to set the adapter and other stuff. So first thing, I'm going to create a array list. So array list and inside this one, I have to type file my songs. And I have to call this method find song. And we have to pass the context. It is environment dot get sorry not the context external storage directory we have to pass the directory from where we are going to fetch the songs okay so it's showing some type of error let me just check this is not state this is directory actually yeah now it's good after this we have to search for items is equal to new string and we have to pass this my songs dot size for int i is equal to zero i should be less than my songs dot size and i plus plus and we have to start adding into the items at a particular index so items i is equal to my songs dot get and we have to pass the index value that will be the that will be in i so dot get name dot to string dot replace i'm going to replace the extension that dot mp3 with null and dot wav wav with null okay so replace dot mp3 with null and dot replace dot wav with null like this one change the line not change the line we have to actually get out of this for loop okay after this what we have to do is we can actually directly show these all data now we have fetched the song we can actually show these all data in the song but what i'm going to do is i'm going to directly connect the adapter with this one the list view okay so for that what i have to do is i have to just make some space over here and we have to create a custom class so custom adapter and this will extend base adapter like this inside this one this will actually show some error so what we have to do is just hover over this click on this implement methods and select all methods and click on okay this will create these methods and we have to make few modifications inside this one first thing this will return items dot length and inside these in these two we don't need to make changes inside this one we have to actually set the view so what we have to do is just type view view is equal to get layout inflator dot inflate inside this one we have to pass the layout so layout dot list item dot not dot null like this and finally we have to check this text view and we have to set the text song is equal to and we have to extract this from view dot find view by id r dot id dot and we have set this txt song the view name and we have one txt song dot set selected is true and txt song dot set text items and we have to pass the position this one if this is different in your system then you have to write this over here 
So now this is ready our custom ad adapter. So we have to set the adapter over here. So for that, what we have to do is simply write this line of code that is custom adapter custom adapter is equal to new custom adapter we have created the object for this and list view dot set adapter and we have to just pass custom adapter like this one okay we have to now call this method that is okay it's not showing error we have to simply allow over here on permission granted and on permission this one so we have to call this method so for that what i have to do is just move back over here and after this, we have to simply call this. That is display songs. Okay. And inside this one, on permission phrase relational should be should be shown. And here what we have to do is we have to just simply write permission token dot continue permission request. And now start this and let's check how this actually looks. And so this is amp player. So I'm going to close this one. We are working on amp player video. So move back over here and this one move back over here. Okay, so somehow this one is being crashed. So let me check what exactly happens. So what we did is we actually missed one small stuff. We have to change, we have to return this view, but here we have returned the null. So we have to change this one to view and let's restart this and let's check. So I've restarted the application and here you can see this M player video and every song which is in my app or which is in my internal storage is being shown over here. Let me just show you in the internal storage. So let me just open my internal storage yeah, here in the files. And here you can see this, we have only these call me tunes which I have downloaded from the internet okay so now here you can see this if I uninstall this and let me just install this once again so that we can see the functionality from the start just okay this okay so let me stop this one and start once again now this time the app is being installed and here you can see this installation is done now allow amp player video to access photos media and files on your device allow this and here you can see this everything is visible okay so that's it for this video guys thanks for watching please hit like subscribe and share with your friends and stay tuned hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in previous video i have already shown you how to fetch all the songs available in our device and so those songs in the list view here you can see this all the song available in my device is visible inside this list view. So I have shown you how to do this and the designing part also. So if you have not watched that video, then just go to description that I've put the link for my previous video or you can simply do one thing. Just click on the suggestion on the right side of the screen. Okay. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set a click listener on the one item of this list view. Here you can see this. If I click on this, it starts being played. Okay. I can pause the song, I can play the song as well and I have also added an animation inside this one. So I'm going to design this part that is the playing um, player activity and I'm going to add the functionality of pause and play and after that I will add all these functionality of fast forward, fast backward, next and previous and also the seek bar. And I'm going to add a visualizer over here so that when the song being played, the visualizer will be shown over here. Okay. So here you can see this when I click on this playing and when I pause this animation when I play resume the uh, song. Okay. So this is also working very fine in my physical device. My physical device is connected. Okay. Sorry. It's disconnected. Let me connect it again. Now my phone is connected and here you can see this. It shows all the songs available in my device. I'm going to play one. So click on this and it open the player activity and here you can see this the song is being played i can pause and replay it so this is working very fine in my physical device also so i'm going to close this because i don't need it for now because this is where we are going to actually work on this okay so let me stop this and let's start on working on which we are working so we are working on amp player video and here you can see this let me start this and let's check where our task is done and here you can see this all the song is available here when i click on this nothing happens because we haven't coded for this okay so 
in the last video the songs are different i have changed the songs these are non copyright songs okay you can play it anywhere so that's why i have changed the song okay so first thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a click listener on the item of this list view for that what we have to do is we have to go over here that is main activity let me close this stuff and the main activity where you have to go you have to go inside this one that is display songs inside this one here we have set the custom adapter to the list view and here what we have to do is we have to just make some space and we have to write the code that is list view dot set on click listener dot set on item click listener and inside this one we have to write new adapter view dot on item click listener when you hit enter automatically the method will be written okay so here what we have to do is we have to first extract the song name which we are going to actually play suppose let me just show you if i play this song then i need that this name okay so this name will be visible over there let me just show you i'm clear inside this one when i click on this here this song visible over here in the same way we have want to actually fetch the name of this one so that we can change the name according to the song okay for that first what we have to do is we have to fetch the name so i'm going to fetch the name string song name is equal to string from list view dot get item at position and we have to pass the position from here this one after this we have to start a new activity so to start a new activity first what we have to do is we have to add a new activity inside this one so right click on this select new select activity and select empty activity and i'm going to name this one player activity and click on finish it will add a new activity okay so we don't need it now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to write some code over here okay so next thing what we have to do is we have to start the activity start activity and inside this one we have to pass the intent so new intent and we have to get the context so get application context dot not dot we have to pass player player activity dot class like this now we have passed the class or uh, we have passed the activity which activity we want to extract which activity we want to open when we click on a particular item so that is player activity dot class this one okay this one after this we have to put some extra put extras okay not here actually we have to put the same equivalent over here like this dot put extra and i'm going to name this one the songs and we have to pass the song as well song list that is my songs in the previous video we have created a array list of type my songs here you can see this this one i'm going to pass this one that is my songs over here dot i'm going to put another extra that will be song name song name which we have pitched right now this one and another put extra and said this one we have to pass the position so pos and we have to pass the position that's it now restart the app and let's check what will happen if we click on this one this is amp player that's why it's showing this complete app so we are working on amp player video here because it is when i click on this now me new activity is open but nothing is over there okay so this is working fine next thing what we have to do is we have to add some stuff into the drawables uh, like let me just open this one in the designing part you can see we have some some buttons and we have one image over here and one in the background so i have to set these images so i'm going to copy these two images from here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to put back over here in the drawable and paste it it will ask for me click okay here you can see this p1 and p3 is here not to worry i'm going to 
provide you a link for these to imagine the description of this video just download it and put it in the drawable okay so now where we have to code we have to actually start coding in this activity underscore player so just double click on this and here we go first thing what we have to do is we have to set the background for this one and first change the constraint layout to linear layout we have to set the orientation for this so i'm going to set the orientation to vertical after this we have to set the background so i'm going to set the background at the rate drawable and i'm going to set this p3 here you can see this this one is looking nice after this we have to set the weight sum and i'm going to set 10 okay so now the background is set next thing what we have to do is i'm going to uh, design other stuff inside this one but before that i have to add some vector assets inside the drawable the icons play pause fast forward fast backward these type of icons i'm going to add inside this one so right click on the drawable click on new select the vector asset inside this one you have to click on this and search for icon like pause this one click on ok change the name keep it in white ic underscore pause and click on next finish i'm going to add new driver source file not driver source file just right click new vector asset inside this one click on this play this one click on ok ic underscore play click on next finish after this we have to add few more that is vector asset select on this one select forward yeah, this one fast forward okay and change this one to ic underscore forward next finish after this i uh, forward we have to set the backward so click on this backward or rewind actually yeah Rewind, just click on this OK and I'm going to name this one IC underscore Rewind. Click on Next and click on Finish. We have Rewind, Forward, Backward, Play, Pause, Rewind. We need two more that is Next and Previous. So click on Vector Asset, select this, Next, add this one. change this one to IC next click on next finish one more that is IC previous this one ok and change the name to IC underscore previous click on next and finish now we have one two three four five six seven that's it all we need okay so now we can start working on this one because we have all the resources inside the drawable so let me just compress this collapse this actually okay so after this first thing what i have to do is i have to start adding another linear layout inside this one so i'm going to add one more linear layout so linear layout and this will the width will be match parents and the height will be zero dp and after this i have to set the weight layout weight will be 7 after this we have to set the gravity to center and orientation to vertical to vertical and you have to close like this and make some space over here after this first thing what i have to do is i have to add a text view to sh show the name song name okay so i'm going to add a text view inside this one and the height will be match parent sorry the width will be match parent the height will be wrap content after this we have to add the id for this one so id will be txt song be careful whenever you set a id for any of this stuff either it will be the text field or the uh, image view or buttons be sure if there is any error null pointer exception or any type of error occur then you match the names first after that you can check other stuff okay because basic name difference can cause a lot of issues okay so now we have set the id for this text view after this i am going to set the margin 
margin yeah to 20 dp after this i'm going to set this ellipse size to mark you and i'm going to set this mark you repeat limit forever repeat limit to mark you forever after this i have to set the padding so padding will be 10 dp and set the single line to true to make some space after this i have to set some text so i'm going to set the text new song is loading like this and it's looking quite small so what i'm going to do is i'm going to increase the size for this one so text size and i'm going to set this one to 21 dp and make this one alignment center text alignment to center and after this i have to set the text style to italic like this now the text view is ready after this we have to add one image view so i'm going to add one image view so image view and the height will be width will be 250 dp and height will be 250 dp after this i'm going to set the id so id will be img view after this i have to set the margin bottom i'm going to set this 8 dp after this i'm going to set the image for this one that is src and i've already added a drawable uh, image in the drawable file that is at the rate drawable and this is p1 not this p1 okay i have added some wrong image over here so i have to select one another image from this one i have to use this p2 not to worry i'm going to provide these two images the third one is extra okay so i'm going to set this one to add the rate drawable and i'm going to select this p2 here you can see this this is the music player app and this one is looking nice okay you just close this yeah after this what we have to do is we have to add one more that is the relative layout inside this linear layout we have to add one relative layout so i'm going to add a relative relative layout inside this one and the height and weight will be layout width will be match parent and the height will be 60 dp like this one inside this relative layout we have to set the seek bar first i'm going to set the seek bar so that with the help of seek bar we can actually move forward the song and move backward and whenever the song is being played how much time it has been played it will show so layout width will be 250 dp height will be wrap content like this one here you can see this now we have the seek bar over here but it's not on the proper position so we have to set this in the center of this one so that these look nice okay after the height we have to set the id so id will be seek bar and i'm going to set this one centered in parent to true and after this parent bottom align parent bottom to true and finally we have to set the margin layout margin will be 20 dp now you can see this now it's in the center because we have the 20 dp margin from the all sides after this we have to set this margin bottom to 40 dp and now this task for seek bar is done after this we have to add one text view to actually it will show one text view over here and another is over here so that it will show from how much time the song is being played from 0, 0 to whenever the song is being forwarded it will change from 1, 2, 3, 4 like this and this is the final end of the song okay so I'm going to add two text view over here so text view and the height will be wrap content and width will be also wrap content we have to set the id so i'm going to set this id to txt song start and after this i have to set this to left of id seek bar the left of seek bar okay after this we have to set few more properties for this one that will be the center in parent to true align parent left 
to false margin left left to 20 dp and text i'm going to set some text 0 dot 0 dot it's colon and 20 here you can see this now we have one over here after this we have to set the text color to black so text color at the right color black select this one and we have to set the text size so text size not style it's size and this one set this one to 15 dp or you can increase as per your need like this one okay we have to again copy this once again and we need one more so i'm going to paste it and inside this one we have to change the id first change the id to txt star song start to song end and this is not in the left of this is in the right of this like this one you can see this it's over here okay and after this wherever you see the left change this one to right like this now this is in the proper position here you can see this and change this one to 5 15 like this now this one is looking nice after this now that whatever we have to write inside this relative layout is done we need to add one more linear layout over here so i'm going to add one linear layout over here okay let me just close this this linear layout is inside yeah the task still here is done so we have to put one more linear layout over here so linear layout and the width will be match parent and the height for this one will be 0 db and the weight for this one layout weight will be 3 and this not like this like this one okay inside this linear layout we are i'm going to add one relative layout so relative layout and this will be match parent and width will be match parent and height will be match parent like this one after this inside this relative layout i have to add i have to start adding the buttons that is play pause and other buttons so first i'm going to add the button and the width will be 70 dp and the height will be 70 dp so you can see this it's showing its different color okay so inside this one i'm going to set the id so id for this one will be bt and play and center horizontal is equal to true and to set the background for this one the background will be at the red drawable i'm going to set this one to ic underscore this one will be pause we set this one pause okay so what will happen is whenever we click uh, on the list view then that particular song starts playing so if the song is already being played then we can pause the song we cannot just play the playing song already okay so we initially we need pause button over here whenever someone click on this then this pause button needs to be changed to play so initially i have set this one to pause okay let me just close this after this i need another button okay so i'm going to add button so inside this i'm going to set the size 50 dp and this will be also the 50 dp after this i have to set the background so i'm going to set the background to drawable ic next like this one i have to set the margin top to 10 dp i have set the id btn next and i'm going to set this to right of play button that is btn play so you can see that this one is looking nice after this we have to add the this is btn next so we can add btn previous so button and this one also be 50 dp 50 dp and after this i'm going to add this 
background so background will be ic underscore previous and this will be the margin top top margin top will be 15 dp and i'm going to set the id so id will be btn previous left off to left off btn play and this one is looking nice in the same way we have to add two more buttons that will be the fast forward and fast backward so i'm going to add these two buttons over here so this will be 40 db it's also be 40 db after this i'm going to set the id for this one id will be btn fast forward after this i'm going to set the margin top to 20 dp right off right off this is in the right off btn next and i'm going to set the margin left margin left to 15 dp and i'm going to set this to background will be I see forward this one like this. This one is looking nice. Margin top will be 20 dp. Okay. So in the same way we need one more button that is a fast backward. So I'm going to add one more button. So button and the height will be 40 dp and sorry the width will be 40 dp and height will be 30 dp. Same. And I'm going to set the ID so ID will be btn fast backward i'm going to set the background the background will be ic rewind rewind right i'm going to select this one after this i have to set the margin top margin top to 20 dp and we are going to set the left off the left off btn previous this one and for this the task is done now you can see this every button is ready and in place next thing what we have to do is we have to add one wave over here okay so that is visualizer we are going to add a visualizer for that we have to add one dependency inside our the build dot gradle file so double click on this and make some space over here and i'm going to open my browser and here you can see this i'm going to use this video visualizer audio visualizer android just copy this link i'm going to put this link in the description of this video and move back over here in this one i'm going to put over here sorry i've copied i've copied the link i'm not going to copy the link i'm going to add a dependency you can use any of these type of visualizer whenever the song is being played i'm going to use this one okay so move back over here just copy this dependency and move back into project and paste it over here and click on sync now and here you can see this now the sync is done make sure your system is connected with the internet otherwise it will give you errors okay so now dependency is added you can manually type it not to it's not compulsory to open the link okay so let me close this move back over here after sync is done you can add that visualizer over here so to add a visualizer there is already some code is available over here that is com.gorfk audio visualizer like this one just copy this stuff move back over here and you can paste it over here and we are going to make some changes inside this one here you can see that it cover all the part inside this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change this one to um, blast i'm going to change this one to wave because i'm going to use a wave match parent the height will be 70 dp i'm going to set this one to 70 dp and after this i'm going to set this align parent bottom align parent bottom and change this one to true and it is it's aligned to the bottom and after this uh, then set it to 0 0.8 uh, av type av type will change this one to outline av type to outline and we have to set the av color so i'm going to change this one something to yeah the color is good i don't need to change this one okay and the speed is normal 
So our designing part is ready. So everything is ready over here. So we don't need to do anything. Let's restart this and let's check if this one is ready or not. So move back over here and play a video and it will restart the app. Here you can see this. Now if I click on this, this time here you can see this, it's pause button is being shown over here. If I click on this, nothing happens. It's 0, 2, 0 and 515 we have said this and here you can see this for now no song is being played so now we have the designing part is done next thing let me just close this after this what we have to do is we have to move back inside this one that is player activity and inside this one we have to create variables for each buttons image view player and other stuff so first i'm going to start with the buttons so button first will be bdm play alt enter after this we have btn next after this we have btn previous btn fast forward after this we have btn fast backward after buttons we have some text view so text view we have txt song name we have txt song start we have txt song end after uh, text view we have seek bar so seek bar seek music bar and we have bar visualizer okay so it's bar bar visualizer it's showing an error because we haven't added a dependency for this one so in both class and i'm going to name this one bar visualizer like this one and we have one image view so i'm going to set the image view also so image view like this one after this we need few more variables that is string that is song name after this we are going to need one public static final and of the string type and I'm going to set this extra underscore name and is equal to this only song underscore name after this we have to set uh, one media player so static media player I'm going to name this one media player and we are going to need one position that is the index song index so i'm going to name this one position and i need one array list of type file and this will be the my songs alt enter and this will load the library or class for this one okay so now we or whatever we need is over here and now we are going to connect these buttons with the GUI that XML name okay so first is BDN previous is equal to find view by ID r dot ID dot BDN previous be very careful whenever you are connecting this with because we have to put the proper name over here okay so BDN next is equal to find view by id r dot id dot btn next after this we have btn play is equal to find view by id r dot id dot btn play after this we have btn fast forward is equal to find view by id r dot id dot fast forward after this we have btn fast backward is equal to find view by id r dot id dot btn fast forward sorry fast backward after this we have some text views so that is txt song name is equal to find view by id r dot id dot song name txt song this one after this we have txt song start is equal to find view by id r dot id dot txt song start after this we have txt song end 
is equal to find view by id r dot id dot txt song end this one after this we have seek bar so seek music bar is equal to find view by id r dot id dot seek bar bar visualizer is equal to find view by id r dot id dot we have wave yeah we have wave we have set the name for this one uh, let me just check this one is wave okay so we have set the id wave so that's why i have written wave over here okay after this we have one image view so image view is equal to we have to search for this one too r dot id dot img view like this one now we have connected all of the buttons with this uh, button okay so here after this what we have to do is we have to check that if media player is null if media player is not equal to null then what we have to do if this is not null then we have to type media player dot stop and media player dot release okay after this we have to create a indent so indent intent is equal to get intent now we have intent after this we have to create a bundle object so bundle bundle is equal to intent dot get extras whatever we have passed when we have called this one we have passed the song song name and the position we need to extract these from the intent so we are going to now it's in the intent so we have to extract these stuff so first thing we have my songs and inside this one and here we have to convert this to array list bundle dot get possible array list and inside this one we have to pass the key okay after this we have to extract the song name so s name you have to pass this key the songs if s is in capital then you have to write in capital the same exactly same this one you have to pass exactly same okay after this we have s name and we have to extract this intent dot get string extra and we have to pass song name inside this one let's check what is over there song name yeah not this one this one actually name is song name So n is small. Okay. After this, we have to extract the position. So position is equal to bundle dot get end, and we have to pass the position. So inside this one, we have written the key as pos, and by default, we are going to pass zero default value inside this one. After this, we have to set this txt song name dot set selected is true. After this, we have to actually set the URI. URI is equal to URI dot parse, and set this one. We have to pass the my songs dot get, and we have to pass the position and dot convert this one to a string. Finally, what we have to do is just song name is equal to my songs dot get. And we have to pass the position inside this one. Dot get name. After this, we have to set this txt song name. Dot set text. And inside this one, we have to set the song name like this. Now the task till here is done. Next thing what we have to do is we have to set this media player is equal to media player. Not like this. M is capital. Media player. Dot create. And we have to pass the context so get application context and we have to pass the uri after this we have to just start the media player media player dot start like this one now let's check start the app and let's check if this one is working or not so this application is started and play video here you can see this if i click on this yeah, AWFUL. Now the song name is here and it's being played, but we cannot pause and resume this because we haven't set click listener on this one. So I'm going to close this application for now and I'm going to set a click listener or BDN play. 
so I'm going to set a BTN play click listener dot set on click listener new and view on click listener now we have set a BTN play click listener and one more thing we just play this M player not M player in the M player video we are working on this one and here you can see this if I change the song here you can see this tune the name is being changed okay so this one is working fine so we have to work on the play and pause button so now on the pause um, pd and play first thing what you have to check is if play media player is playing so i'm going to check that if media player is dot is playing if this one is playing and pd and play dot set background resource and i'm going to set the drawable if this one is playing then we have to set this icon dot play and we have to pause the media player so media player dot pause what is it means that if there is pause icon if we click on that it means that media player is being already the song is being played so if i click on pause then the first change the logo to play and then pause the media player so song will be stopped okay in the else condition what we have to do is we have to form the operation like ptn play dot set background resource this time r dot drawable dot ic pause i have to set this one and we have to play the this one start we have to play the media player let me just restart the application and let's check if this one is working or not so click on this one pause yeah here you can see that when i click on the pause the icon is changed to play the same thing I did over here. Set the background resource that is R draw drawable dot IC play. Now play is set over here and this media player is paused. Nothing is being played right now. So if I click on this, this one is working fine. So let me close this. Next thing we have to add an animation on this one. When I pause and when I click on play, this needs to be slide on the right side and move back over here. So for that, what we have to do is we have to code over here in the else condition. We have to set the translate animation and here you have to name this one move anim is equal to new translate animation and inside this one we have to set the coordinates how much you want to animate so i'm going to set this one 25 comma 25 comma minus 25 comma 25 like this one we have set the index for these so move anim dot set enter polarite and new this one after this we have to set this move anim dot set duration i'm going to set this 600 it's milliseconds okay and we have to set move anim dot set fill enabled to true move anim dot set fill after to true after this we have to set move anim dot set repeat count or repeat mode first i'm going to set this repeat mode to animation dot reverse this one and finally we have to set this move anim dot set repeat count repeat count to one i want only one time to repeat you can change this as per as more you want so finally we have to just set these all transition to that image view so my image view name is image view dot and we have to start the animation so start animation and we have to pass this move anim now let me just restart this and let me just open this one and here you can see this when i click on this the song starts playing and if i click on pause the song is paused if i click on play here you can see this oh so animation is not done over here so let me just check it once again we have to restart it actually click on this okay so we have some issue over here so let me just check with the image view so where we have this image view let me just check this activity player this one the name for this one is img view so move back over here img view where is this image view okay let 
no okay so we have to actually set over here start animation and let's restart this and now i'm going to play this and as you can see this animation is working fine this will work same as uh, this one in my physical device if i connect this okay so not to worry that's it for this video guys the next video i'm going to show you how to play this visualizer over here and this next previous and next button and the fast forward and fast backward as well and the seek bar also we're going to show you how to work with the seek bar so just stay tuned subscribe and share with your friends and follow me on instagram and also follow my another channel subscribe my another channel thanks for watching hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in previous video i have shown you how to set a click listener on the list view and when i click on any item in this list view a new activity is opened and the song starts playing and you can also pause the song and play the song and i have also added the animation so if you have not watched my previous video then just go to description there i put the link for my previous video or you can simply do one thing just click on the suggestion on the right side of the screen okay so in this video i'm going to show you how to work with the next forward fast backward and the previous song and also with the seek bar so let me show you a demo of that so this is m player video that's why this is not complete if we click on the button nothing will happen you can see this when i click on this nothing happens and here we don't have any visualizer so let me just remove this and this is m player which is our complete project or complete app you can say so click on this and here you can see this this is the visualizer is working fine and i can pause and play this song as well we can fast forward here you can see this the timer is changed and if i click on the next opposite side and the song is changed you can see over here it's moved to the backward you can also seek the song like you can see this it's changed to 204 and according to this the visualizer is showing okay so i'm going to show you each of these all stuff in this video so let me close this first of all to work with visualizer we need a recording permission from the user for that we have to add the user permission in this one android manifest files so double click on this and here we have to add new user permission so user dash permission and say this one we have to add record audio we have to add this permission just save it and close it after this what we have to do is we have to make a small change inside this one i hope you have just written this line and this one too this is in the previous video we have added this so if you have not watched the previous video then i can recommend you to please watch that okay so let me close this inside this one for where we have to make changes is just move below over here to the display songs where it is okay yeah inside this one or uh, not this one on the run time yeah here we can see we have written with permission but we we actually need to take two permissions so that is not permission that is permissions so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just delete all of these stuff even i'm going to delete this much part and we are going to write dot with permissions so in this one we have to actually ask for two permission that is many fest many fest dot permission dot read underscore external storage and the second one is many fest dot permission dot record audio this one after this we have to write dot with listener and inside this one we have to write new multiple permission listener when i hit enter this time we have only two methods overridden methods and on permission checked we have to just call this display songs and in the second one we have to simply call permission token dot continue permission request like this one and here we have to write dot check now if i start the app and let's check what will happen now this time so i've started the app ample video okay inside this one here you can see this allow m player video to record 
audio. If you can't allow it, then this will keep asking for the permission because without this, we cannot perform the operation with visualizer. Okay, so click on allow. Now this will work fine. Okay, so now we have asked, taken the permission from the user uh, for recording audio. Now the task with the main activity is done. So let me close this and move back over here. In the player activity, first thing what we have to do is we have to add one method. In the previous app, I have shown you that whenever I click on the next or previous button, the image is actually, we have added some animation to the image. To this one, when I click on previous one animation is again applied to this image. So I'm going to write one method to animate the image. And after that, we are going to apply this. Okay. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write one method that is public void and I'm going to name this method start animation and set this one we are going to take two variables that is first is view and the second one is floating uh, value and this will be degree that how much degree we want to rotate the image 360 degree it will be complete circle rotation and if there is minus 360 degree then reverse complete circle rotation okay after this we have to create uh, object of object animator so we have to write object animator animator and this will be object animator is equal to object animator dot of float and so this one we have to pass image view image view and we have to pass the, this one property name that is rotation and we have to pass this off. It, we have to pass this from 0f to, and we have to pass the second degree from 0 to how much degree you want to rotate. So that will be passed by the user whenever, sorry, that will be passed whenever we call this method. So I'm going to write degree over here, like this one. After this, we have to type object animator dot set duration for how much duration you want to perform so i'm going to set this thousand milliseconds means one second okay after this we have to create animator set animator set is equal to new animator set like this one after this animator set dot play together Inside this one, we have to pass the animator, object animator. This one. Finally, we have to write this animator set dot start. Now our method is ready. With the help of this method, we can rotate that image. So now next thing what we have to do is we have to move over here. That is BDN play dot set on click listener. And below this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start coding with BDN next dot set on click listener and inside this one we have to write new yeah view on click listener and one more thing uh, if you are worried about that from where i am passing this image view so in the previous video i have registered the image view this image view is nothing but this one the id for this one is image view here you can see this move back over here and let me just show you that so image view here you can see this we have registered this with the img view okay so this image view is a image view of that that image view id is this one okay so move back over here that bd and next dot set on click listener inside this one if i check for now i'm going to just set start this animation i let me just try this start animation and inside this one we have to pass the image view and we have to pass the degree so i'm going to rotate this 360 f like this one and for now if i click on the bdn next it will move forward direction in the same way what i have to do is i have to just set for this one bdn previous dot set on click listener new view on click listener inside this one start animation and we have to pass the image view and degree so i'm going to pass minus 360 degree f because i want to rotate in the reverse direction so let me start this and let's check it in this one 
so amplifier video so click on this if i click on this for now song will not change but animation will be done because we have set the animation here you can see this when i click on this the animation is done in the forward direction and the backward direction so this one is working fine if i click multiple times it will keep rotating okay so this one is working fine but the song is not being changed okay so we are going to move back over here on the pdn next set on playlist and inside this one we have to add a few more codes that is to change the song first so inside this one first thing i want to do is i want to stop the media player so stop after this i want to release the media player so media player dot release after this we will extract the position so position is equal to inside this one position and plus one we have to increment the position and from where from my songs model is my songs and dot size like this one after this we have to create an object of uri uri is equal to uri dot parts and inside this one we have to actually pass the my songs dot get inside this one we have to pass the index position and convert this to string like this one after this we have to write for this one that is media player dot media player dot create and inside this one we have to pass the context so get application context and we have to pass the uri like this one uh, finally we have to set the song name so song name is equal to my songs dot get and we have to pass the position and after this we have to get the name like this and finally we have to pass this txt song name dot set text and we have to set the song name so we have extracted the song name uh, into this variable and finally set this song to txt song name okay after this we have to start the media player so media player dot start this one now what we have to do is we have to let me just delete this space and let's restart this and let's check if this one is working or not so move back over here this one and player video if i click on this you can see this awful this one mp3 is playing if i click on this one, and the song is also changed and it's being played this one is working fine if i click see this the song is again changed and again changed this one is looking nice and working as well so now we have to work with the pdn previous so here let me just make some space and here what we have to do is we have to start first we have to actually media player dot start and after this we have to release the media player dot release okay so we have to actually stop the media player change this one to stop okay after this after we have released the media player we have to actually change the position first we decide first we will check that if the position is not in the negative or out of the index so we will check that so position minus one is not less than zero if it is less than zero then what we have to do is we have to check that uh, here we have to check this my songs dot size minus one colon position minus one if it's greater than zero then we have to perform this operation that is my songs that will this if i have 10 songs then size minus one that will be the position of this one okay so now we have the position next thing what we have to do is we have to create a uri so uri is equal to uri dot parse and so this one we have to pass this my songs dot get and we have to pass the index of position and this convert this to string after we have this we have to create a media player okay we already have this media player is equal to media player dot create and we have to pass the application context and we have to pass the uri like this one finally what we have to do is we have to extract the song name so song name is equal to my songs dot get and we have to pass the position and we have to get the name so get name like this one 
and finally we have to set the song name so txt song name dot set text and we have to set the song name inside this one and finally we have to start the media player dot start and that's it for this pdn previous if i restart the application so let me first close this one that is m player video sorry m player so this is m player video and here you can see this when i click on this if i click on this starting of this one here you can see this both is working fine and we can actually previous the song if you can't hear the song then it must be due to some technical issue otherwise you can see the name the name is being changed and reverse direction and this one is looking great okay so we can also pause and play everything is working fine next thing what we have to do is what we have to do is we if songs complete like suppose one minute song is there and it's finished completely run the page already played the complete song then what we have to do is we have to change that to next song so for that what we have to do is we have to move back over to the bdn play or set on click listener and below over here we have to actually perform this operation media player dot set on complete listener inside this one new media player on complete listener and inside this one we have to simply call this bdn next dot perform click with the help of this whenever the song is complete like one minute song is completed then it will automatically click on this bdn next so if i click on this bdn next by manually then what will happen we have already seen that the song is changed and animation is done and with the help of code this button is being clicked okay so this is the difference between this pdn next dot perform click or simply by clicking on the gui this, this these both are same stuff okay after this what we have to do is we have move back to the top and here we have to create a new thread over here and here we have to create a thread and we have to name this one update seek bar we are going to work with the seek bar because whenever we uh, drag that seek bar for now nothing happens here you can see this if i click on this and do something like this nothing happens but what i want is when i seek this one or move this one forward then i want to actually forward the song as well so i have just created a new thread that is update seek bar and after this we have to move inside this one that is on create and here here make some space and here what we have to do is update seek bar is equal to new thread we have to create a new thread like this and we have to override a method that is run inside this one we have to actually extract the value that is int total duration i am to name this variable is equal to media player dot get duration we will get the duration from this one and int current position is equal to zero after this we will check that while current position is less than total duration then what we have to do is just try we will keep checking at every one second or half millisecond that is 500 mill millisecond that if the current duration is less than the total duration then we need to keep seeking that bar so try and we have to put the catch block here so catch and inside this one we have to actually check for two exception that is interrupted exception and for the another one is illegal start exception and we have to just print the exception if anything raised so in dot print start raise like this one okay it's showing an error not to worry here we have to sleep the thread for 500 milliseconds after this it will actually recheck that if this one is while current position is less than total duration or not okay and here we are going to set this current position is equal to 
media player dot get current position inside and after this we have to see music bar dot set progress and so this one we have to pass the current position like this and if you have worried about this from where i'm getting this seek music bar so we have previously created this one also so here you can see this seek music bar and we have connected this is the xml so here you can see this with the id that is seek bar in the xml okay after this what we have to do is we have to perform more operation below here okay it's showing some error okay okay let me just remove this super dot run so they don't need this and just put a semicolon over here okay after this what we have to do is we have to just write like this seek bar seek music bar dot set max and set this one we have to set the maximum limit so media player dot get duration that will be the maximum seek bar limit after this we have to update the seek bar we have to actually update seek bar dot start we have to perform this operation finally after this what we have to do is we have to simply write seek music bar dot get progress drawable this one dot set color filter and set this one we have to set get resources dot get color and we have to set this r dot color dot purple in my system this is the color code available uh, we have set the color for this one inside this one values color here you can see this the color name is purple 500 or 700 you can i can use both of these these are almost similar so let me close this and back over here so our color purple 700 and after this we have to write Porter Duff dot mode dot multiplier and after this just close this one and after this we have to write seek seek music bar dot get thumb dot set color filter get resources dot get color r dot color dot purple 700 and after this we have to put the comma and potter duff dot mode dot src underscore n after this we have to set the seek bar change listener on this one suppose manually if users change or slide that seek bar then we also want to perform the operations like changing the song time and these type of stuff so for that we have to set the seek bar change listener so seek bar seek music bar dot set on seek bar click listener new seek bar on seek listener and here we can see this after this we have to just work with this one that the, that is the last one on stop tracking touch and here we have to write simply like this media player dot seek to and we have to get seek bar dot get progress and here you can see this now let's restart this and let's check if this one is working or not so you can see this if i click on this yeah the song is being changed and if i click again click on again if I click on this, here you can see this now, now the song is being changed whenever we click on the seek bar and this one is working very fine. Okay, so now the seek bar is working. We can actually progress the song whenever we click on this. Now what we have to do is we have to create one method. With the help of that, we are going to get the timing. Okay, so public and this is going to return a string. So I'm going to name this method create time and this will take the duration that is int duration now to this i'm going to take one variable string time initially it's null after this let me just make some space over here okay so now after we have time this is int min is equal to duration 
divided by 1000 divided by 60 closes int second is equal to duration divided by 1000 modulus of 60 after this time is equal to time plus min plus double quotes and it will be like this one after this if second is less than 0 or 10 what we have to do is we have to just increase the time plus is equal to 0 and finally we have to return the time this time will actually this time will get and set this time this actually this will return a string like suppose five five minutes or three minutes so that will be set into the two text fields or two timer here you can see this these two text view we're going to set this whenever this uh, second is updated like suppose five second then this will be updated to five six every time we have to call this one and this will return a new time okay so now this one is ready next thing what we have to do is we have to move back over here where we left yeah on the, after the seek part over here what we have to do is we have to write like string we will get the end time is equal to create time and inside this one we have to pass a media player dot get duration when we pass the duration it will convert in in the format of minutes and second and it will return in the form of a string that will be stored inside this end time variable okay after this we have to set this to txt song end and we have to set the text and that will be the end time like this one now the text is set if i restart this and let's check if this this one is set or not let's start this here you can see this it's two if i click do on this screen So you can see it's actually changed so let me just rotate this one okay we can't see it over here okay we have some issue over here let me just fix it just move back to this one we have missed one small stuff here we have to type time plus is equal to second like this one now restart the app and let's check if this one is working fine or not. So click on this. There it is, it is 2.55. This time, okay, it's not being updated. Whenever we click on this, yeah, this one is changing. It's 2.32. Every time if I click on the song, okay, to set the same for the next one. So that we click on this, the timer will be updated over here. Okay, so I will do that. Not to worry about that one. So move back to the top where we are working. So we are working over here. Let me just make some space. And here we have to create final handler. We have to create one handler. And handler is equal to new handler, like this one. And we have to write final, final int delay. Is equal to thousand after this we have to write handler dot post delayed new runnable like this one this will override the run method that this one we have to write string current time is equal to create time and with the media player dot get current position we are going to actually update the this text view whenever the seek bar is increased okay so we have to update the timer inside this one for that we have to create the handler first we have created the handler delete for every one second i need to update that okay so we have created this create current time and after this we have to set this txt song start dot set text inside this one we have to pass the current time and finally we have to pass this handler dot post delayed and said this one we have to pass it this comma delay and we have to pass delay over here too so we have to pass comma delay 
like this one. If I start this and let's check if this one is working or not. So if I click on this, here you can see this is zero, zero, one, two, three, four. Every time song is being played and for each second, this one is being updated. So let me pause this and let me close this one. Now the task for this one is seek bar and the timer is also done. Next thing what we have to do is we have to code for this one that is fast backward and fast forward. So move back over here. Here it goes. Below this BDN previous and here make some space and here BDN fast forward dot set on click listener new we want click listener in the same way we have to write for pdn fast backward dot set on click listener and new view on click listener now click listener for both this bdn fast forward and bdn fast backward is ready so first thing what we have to do is we have to check that if media player is playing so if media player is playing then we have to whenever someone click on that button if it's playing then we have to skip that to 10 seconds so media player dot seek to and we have to increment the we have to get the current seek position and then add however how much value you want to seek so media player dot get current position and we, i'm going to increase 10 seconds so 10 millisecond sorry 10 seconds is equal to 10,000 milliseconds. So I'm going to add 10,000. In the same way, I have to copy this. Sorry, I have to completely copy this part and paste inside this one. And we have to just decrement this value. So decrement this. And now restart this and let's check if this one is working or not. So click on this. Here you can see this initially it's zero. If I click on this, now it's on 13, 14, and this one 25. And song is also being changed. So fine. If I click on this one, it's also working. So that's cool. Now our next and previous is also working. Next thing, our this one the visualizer is not working yet. So we are going to work on that too. So just move back over here. Yeah, over here, make some space. And here, what we have to do is we have to create one audio session ID. So audio, it's of int type audio session underscore ID. I'm going to name this one media player dot get audio session id and set this one if audio session id i'm going to check this one is not equal to negative that is minus one then we have to set this bar visualizer dot set audio session i to audio session id like this one another task for this one is done now start this and let's check if this one is working or not so let me start this and click on yeah, here you can see this, this one, okay and here you can see this this one is quite small okay the bar is quite small so what i'm going to do is i'm going to increase the bar size so move back over here move back on this one i'm going to increase this size height to 90 okay and i'm going to change this one to three or four four is good okay so av density if you increase it it will be quite denser very thin lines and if you decrease it the line will be broader so i have decreased it because initially it's eight so i have changed it to four and i have also increased the height for this one so i have started this once again and let's check here you can see this it's changed so we have to make more changes that is i'm going to change this one to not four i'm going to change this one to three and the height will be also i'm going to make this one to 100 and now restart this and let's check this one this time so i'm going to change this one to five five restarted the application you can keep it as per your choice okay 
actually we have to set the ad width av width yeah this one to 8 db and change this one to 3 now restart this one and let's check this if this time this one is looking nice or not so click on nice but it's quite thick you can also change it as per your need make changes to this one width to 8 or less and make the density as per your choice is working next thing i want to set a name over here i want to change this one to btech days player and i want to set a back button for that we have to move back over here that is player activity and move back to the top over here and make some space over here and here what i have to do is i have to write on small stuff that is get support action bar get support action bar dot set title First, I'm going to set the title and I'm going to set this P tech days player and get support action bar dot set display shown up enabled and change this one to true. After this, we have to set this get support action bar dot set display show home enabled show home enabled this one and change this one to true. Now the P for now, here you can observe that we don't have any back button and its default name is here that is Ampere Video. So I'm going to restart this and move back over here. And this time when I click on this, we take days player and we also have the back button. If I click on this, it will actually move back to the previous button. Okay, so we have missed something, I guess. Okay, for now this one is not working. So we have to override few methods over here. So for that, we have to move back over here and make some space and here we have to override on option item selected and set this one we have to check that if item dot get item id is equal is equal to android android dot r dot id dot home on back breast. and one more thing we have to override one more method that is on destroy inside this one we have to check that if bar visualizer is not is equal to null then what we have to do is we have to just release this bar visualizer now restart this and let's check if this time this one is working or not so click on this and click on this one here you can see this now it's working and now it's also playing if i install this on my physical device then still it will work so not to worry about that so here we have completed the app and it's working perfectly fine here you can see this we can also seek the song this application is also working and everything is working you like this entire series so just subscribe share with your friends and stay tuned for more updates and for the latest updates and please subscribe and hit the bell icon thanks for watching